The Store Mesa Typewriter Exchange has been in our, our family for 74, 75 years now, and um, I enjoy what I do. I came down here as a kid when my dad and grandfather worked here together. And so as I was growing up, I would come down on Saturdays, and so these little aisles and things you see here at eight and 10 years old, I was running around in here. So this space that you see right here, it's kind of been a part of my life for a long time. I'm 65 now, so I've been roaming these halls for 50, 60 years. <laughs> and I would come in and work part-time with my dad after school, you know, when I was in high school. And I enjoyed what I do. I liked working with my dad. And in fact, that first year I worked in here, my grandfather also was still working in here. So there was one year where all three of us kind of worked in here together. And I really enjoyed that whole family, you know, feeling of, of all of us working together. 40 years ago doing this, this was just a job. Everyone had typewriters, there was no computers around. So this was more of a need. And there was lots of typewriter places like ours around. We were one of many. And so then it was okay, just a job. But now, instead of dealing with a customer base that needs to have something or has to have something, I'm dealing with a customer base that wants to have something. And it's a whole different feeling. So the vibe I get out of people, they're excited. Some of them are collectors that have 10, 15, 30, and 50 machines, some of them. And it's not the majority of the public. You know, people come and they go, how are you so busy all the time? Um, and it's not that a high percentage of the, the people out there are using typewriters. It's just that I'm one of the very few people doing this type of service. So the small percentage of people that want to deal with the typewriter, they don't have a lot of options. So they're gonna, and I have customers come from Flagstaff and Tucson and Prescott and sometimes out of state. So I stay busy with repair and, and sales. I still do a fair amount of sales too. This has been here for so long. There's just something about that. There's a nostalgia factor in there that kind of makes me want to keep doing this. I mean, people say, when are you going to retire? Well, I, I could in the next couple of years, but you know, my grandfather worked in here until he was 75, so I've got a ways before that happens, so I very possibly could be here in 10 years still doing this. We could be here 85 years. Mm -hmm.